Aquarius, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm your host, Tina, and welcome to my channel. Today, this will be your upcoming weekly tarot. This one is for March 29th to April 4th. Now, if you are new and it is your first time, I do pull two layers. I'm going to jump straight into your reading and get into your first layer now. All right, this is for Aquarius, March 29th to April 4th for Aquarius. Aquarius. We're going to stop it here for you. The magician is at the bottom. Judgment came out immediately. Um, difficult, difficult, very difficult. Wow. Very difficult decision for you here, Aquarius. Bottom is the magician. What do you want to manifest? What do you want? Um, I see that you are really in this place of big change, uh, maybe trying to rebuild your foundations here, trying to restructure something here so that it's, it's stronger, it's more secure. Recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I just really feel like it was you trying to bring back balance, right? Um, but you have to decipher and you have to discriminate in the situation and in your life of what to prioritize, what to give your energy and to, what to give your attention to first. And that's how we kind of rebalance things. Um, and that was in the recent past. Overall energy is the tower. It's about sudden changes, quick, abrupt, sudden changes. It's about Something here, there's divine intervention and the universe is making space here for you or it's trying to make space here for you to kind of fill it up with something better and stronger in its place. Um, you know, if the tower hasn't happened in your life here where like something really sudden or really shocking or really abrupt, you know what the tower is actually i don't even need to point it out but if it hasn't happened yet then this is like for me a warning sign this is the elephant in the room there's something here that if we don't address it and we don't take care of it something here that we know is not right but we're just like ah eh, maybe with time it'll correct itself or not yet not yet and then whoop that's when the universe steps in that's when we get some divine intervention and it does it for us but it does it when we don't take control of our lives and we let the universe do it. It does it in a more abrupt and kind of aggressive manner. Either way, you're in this position right now to make a judgment call. That's the situation this week, um, but difficult, very difficult decision here for you. We have the five of wands in the challenge position. So I just feel like there's conflicting opinions, even conflicting maybe thoughts within yourself here. But it, it's, a, it's heavy. It weighs heavy on you. And you're really, your focus right now is the chariot. I feel like you're really trying to bring things into balance. You're trying to bring things into order. You might even have an achievement, like a goal on your mind here that you're really, that's driving you and that's pushing you and that's motivating you to get things in order, maybe to leave something behind and more focused on movement and the future here. And in your approach, we have the beautiful Queen of Cups energy. This is you really leading with your heart, really being emotionally mature, using your intuition here, just really open heart space. So really beautiful. In your environment, we have the Ten of Wands. Something is heavy here, something's difficult here, and it definitely could be related to this judgment call you feel like you need to make. Ways heavy is not feeling like fun whatsoever. Too much responsibility, too much heaviness on you. And then coming towards you, Two of Swords standing before the crossroads and you know kind of afraid afraid to take the first step afraid to make that decision afraid of what where we may lead a fear of the unknown a bit all right let's go in and clarify all of this please clarify for aquarius march 29th to april 4th uh, but yeah like i feel like it's like wanting to start fresh or there's a desire here from you or the universe. Oh my God, as I say that, I stop on the fool. Let's see. King of Pentacles wanted to come out, um, but we're not, we're not taking that. Let's go in. Oh my God, a Wheel of Fortune I see also. All right, let's go in and please clarify for Aquarius all of these energies. 
March 29th to April 4th for Aquarius. Okay. Let us stop here. Ace of Wands is at the bottom. Reboot. Fresh start for some of you in some way. Some way, shape, or form. There's a lot of newness, but it requires a lot of rebuilding, right? Um, yeah, heavy decision for you. Psh. You definitely don't want to be impulsive. You are deciding where do your loyalties lie. Um, yeah. Where do your loyalties lie this week? Like meaning, where do you want to belong? What do you want to be committed to? What do you want to devote yourself to? What do you want to say? Hey, I, I am a part of that. And Aquarius, you rule community. Like that's you are the 11th house, right? And so it's kind of natural for you to think of yourself as part of something bigger. Recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Yeah, I mean, I think you had to use your intuition about where to put your time and where to put your energy so that you can restore balance here introspection you know um you had to kind of listen to the voice within here to kind of restructure yourself restructure your life and to decide what is deserving of your attention and time so that you keep things in balance so you keep things like in check you know everything's flowing the right way overall energy we have the tower with the three of cups this is like relationships here right something with our emotions here is going to be stirred up and shaken but there is yeah something emotionally and even community wise when i think of the three of cups that i think is shaken i really do like some sense of belonging some sense of like your tribe your people there's a shake up within that right and when that happens it tests our relationships and not every relationship can stand the test of time right and so we'll see if this one does. Current situation, we have a double energy here. We got the Ten of Wands, it came out again, and it came out right on judgment. So difficult decision to navigate. This is not easy on you whatsoever. Um, you know, I feel like it's taken everything in you to make this decision. Um, but yeah, judgment call, it's about rising from the ashes. Big decision here. You know, stepping into your higher self, stepping into this upgraded version. What is serving your higher self? What is actually good for you? But nonetheless, it weighs heavy on you and it is difficult. And especially because you've already put so much work into the situation. In the challenge position, we're just trying to make sure passions aren't running high, right? In the challenge position, we have the five of wands with the knight of wands. Just like, hey, hey. Keep our opinions, keep our judgments, keep our passions. Let's try to cool them down and tame them, right? Don't want to make any impulsive moves here. We want to really think things through um, because these choices, all of our choices, honestly, shape our life. Some are way more obvious than others, right? Like, like breaking apart from a group dynamic that's been a big part of your identity. But you're asking yourself, what do you belong to? What is in alignment with you, right? It has to be. And sometimes those things shift over time. Like, you know, I mean, people switch religions. So they definitely shift over time. Our identity changes with time. Um, sometimes it deepens and sometimes it requires change. And I think you're at that place of asking yourself, where do you belong? What feels right for you? What fits for you? Um, because I think something here was really shaken and it honestly needed to be because it wasn't built on the right stuff. Maybe it was built on more superficial stuff. Um, maybe there wasn't enough pillars in this foundation, right? Maybe there was a lot of love, but maybe we need a trust. Maybe we needed acceptance. I don't know, right? But th those are the things that can make or break, right? But right now where your mind's on, where it's focused, we have the chariot, we have the hierophant. So you're really, you're committed to some direction here. You're focused and you're dedicated, you're devoted, you're loyal, whatever you choose. Whatever you choose, there's nothing that's going to sway you. There's nothing, there's no one, there's nothing they could say. There's nothing they could do that I think can move you from the position you're taking and the direction you're going in. In your approach, I love your approach. You're, you're definitely keeping your calm. I think your intuition served you super well in your recent past. I really do. Because now you're in this energy of temperance and the queen of cups. This is about like having a deeper understanding only goes to like kind of, what's the word? 
illuminate what I was saying with the high priest, I mean, with the high priestess, with the queen of cups, with using your intuition, right? You're avoiding extremes. You're trying to take a middle path. You're even like in a way kind of being an alchemist and thinking of what you can blend to create something new from the old, uh, but really patient, really beautiful. Um, and again, avoiding extremes all because you just, you're wiser. You have a deeper understanding here, Aquarius. That being said, just because we have deeper understandings and we know better, some decisions are tough. Some choices are not so easy and so black and white to make. Um, and in the case of this one, it seems to prove itself to be difficult, really. It's weighing on you. I think you've poured a lot of energy into the situation here that it makes it difficult to like. Maybe it feels like you're giving up. Maybe it feels like you're throwing in the towel. But I think sometimes that's the right choice because I think when you reach your peak, you have to recognize it. And when it's time to pivot, as difficult as it may be, you know, you can force all you want with the universe, but it is easier to flow. But yeah, there's a heaviness, right? With the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So much work, so much responsibility, so much on your shoulders. How to do this, how to build it, how to create it, right? Because again, when space is created, that means we do have to show up. It's not the easiest time in our lives to start building new foundations. But you know what? I think sometimes when we look back, those are kind of the fun times. Um, but not while we're in it. No, of course not. <laughs> Why would it be? Can't be too much fun, right, universe? Um, I have commentary sometimes with the universe, just like that. <laughs> um, all right, coming towards you, we have that two of swords, but it's also clarified by the queen of cups. I think you're really, we also um, could have a really great energy with a water sign coming towards you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and it might help you like navigate this crossroads that you're facing or that it feels like a crossroad. But I think this is just asking you to kind of try to see what's in front of you. Try to not block your emotions because then you kind of block the change. Open yourself up to what you're feeling, what you're fearing, all of that, um, especially with the Queen of Cups. Because I think you'll be around some unconditional love type of energy, very non-judgmental energy that will help you flow, right? That will help you remove this stuck energy. And I think that's what's going to end up coming towards you really is the ability to unstick, right? By being honest, by being open, by trusting the process, right? And you do all of that by kind of listening to your intuition here. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it there for you. Of course, I do hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped in any way. If it did, please hit like, hit subscribe. As always, thank you, and I'll see you all next week.